Hey, what is up guys? My name is Eterno and welcome to episode 8 of Game Programming. Okay, so last time we talked about buffered image and pixels and how, um, how you know, we'd get the raster to actually uh, upload uh, pixel data to our buffer and in turn um, display it onto the screen. So we didn't actually change anything. We still had this black um, screen. So what we're going to do today is actually talk about how we are going to manipulate those pixels. So we've created a way to actually write to those pixels, but how are we going to write to them? And that's what we're going to cover today. So first thing I'm going to do is actually create a new class. So over here on our rain um, folder, I'm just going to right click, hit new and click class. And I'll just name it screen. Now I usually call this class screen and essentially what it is is our screen. It's our class that actually displays our pixels. That's all it does is just fills pixels in with colors that we specify. So I'm gonna name it screen. You can also name it render. I've called it render in the past as well. I'm calling it screen, hit finish. Um, and this new class is gonna have a few different uh, things. First of all, um, it's gonna actually have a width and a height. So private int width, and we're not gonna add anything to it. And we also want private int height. Now, instead of typing it out on two lines, because you can see that they are both private integers, we could just get rid of this and put a comma, um, dividing them and create them on one line. So we're creating two variables on one line. And again, the, name that, the names that we're specifying are being divided by this comma. Um, now, we're not gonna, uh, we're, not, we're actually gonna set values to them because um, we don't need to at the moment. The other thing that I'm going to do is actually create a public int, and this is going to be an array, um, and I'll just call it pixels. And I'm not, I'm not actually going to set anything to that as well. We're not creating it yet. So these two things, this is going to be the width and the height of our screen, and then this is going to be the array that contains all of our pixel data. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do now is actually create a constructor for them. So public screen, and it's going to take two parameters, width and height both integers, and I'll explain all this in a minute, don't worry. Um, and what I'm simply gonna say here is that this dot width equals width, and this dot height equals height. Okay, so what are we doing here? What we're doing here is, if we go back to our um, game class and actually create this screen object, so right under running, I'm just gonna type private screen, screen, and again, we're referring to our screen object. And actually, what I want to do is actually put that into a new package. Well, I'm actually going to put it into a sub package or a subfolder called graphics. So if I just name graphics here in the package and then actually, you know, move screen to that declaration, you'll see that we've got a new folder here called graphics. And this folder is going to contain all our classes that actually deal with graphics and stuff like that. Um, and if I go here, you'll see that it doesn't know where, where screen is. So we actually have to import it because it's in a different package than the game class. So we'll import that. And if we go over here, when we want to create it and hit up screen equals new screen, oops. And we'll actually do this above the JFrame, right? Right over here. Um, we actually need to enter parameters into it. And the only things that we're gonna enter is the width and height. So we'll simply type width and height. And again, this refers to this width and this height. So what's happening here essentially is we're creating a new instance of screen, right? A new screen object. And this dot width equals width means that it's actually gonna make this width over here equal to our parameter, equal to whatever we put over here. Whatever we, whatever we put over here. And same with height, it's gonna make this height in this, in this screen class equal to this height, which is this height. So it's making width equal 300 and height equal width divided by 16 times nine. Um, the other thing we'll do is we'll actually create the pixel array now. So we'll just type pixels equals new int and width times height. Okay, so that's all, that's all we're doing, okay? Um, to sum up this episode, because I've got so much work over this weekend that I'm just not having time at all for this. Um, what we've done today is we've created a screen class 
and we've actually instantiated that screen class. As you can see, we've set it equal to new screen. We've created a new instance of a screen. We've created a screen for ourselves, and we've applied we've applied the size of our screen to these two variables, so that we can now actually deal with the with um with these variables in our actual screen class. And then tomorrow, when we actually go on to rendering things by using pixels, you'll um you'll be able to see how that works. But what we've also done, we've, we've created an array of pixels, an array, an array of integers, which is the size of width times height. So in other words, we've created one integer for each pixel in our game, okay? We've created one integer for each pixel that is in our, in our screen, in our game. So yeah, tomorrow we'll move on to actually drawing um, the, uh, pixels onto the screen, the individual pixels onto the screen. And uh, we'll see if we can create something cool just to demonstrate the, the power of this, power of this game engine. So yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry for the short episode guys, but I've got to go. So yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button. It, uh, it lets me know that you, that you guys are actually enjoying this, you know, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.